So hello and good morning, everyone. Welcome to this episode of Oral Pathology Tuesdays. I'm Dr. Mandana Donahue, and it's a great privilege to have you all here. Today with me, I have the privilege of having Dr. Arvind Babu, who's agreed to be our guest today. He is the Professor, Department of Oral and Maxillofacial Pathology. He is also the Assistant Director, Center for Oral Cancer Prevention. He is the co-editor of IJOMP, that is our own journal, and of the Indian Journal of Multidisciplinary Dentistry. He has authored 37 books and has 160 research papers. He is the first Dental, he has made the first dental awareness book in Braille and sign language. He also has in his own multi-speciality dental care center. And above and beyond everything else, he is totally passionate, I can say, about dentistry and about oral pathology. I thoroughly enjoyed having a conversation with him a few days back when I was asking him if he would do this. And this has been... Uh, Really great. So welcome and thank you for joining us, Dr. Arvind. Yes, madam. Thanks for the brief introduction, introduction, madam. I'm happy to join in your program. I've seen so many series of programs, what you have done, excellent uh, YouTube's informative. It's my, it's my privilege and honor, madam. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. Yes. So uh, now with that, we should just start. I think a lot of people are already waiting. Uh, so what I wanted to ask you first was now the other day we had a chat and you were, I, I, I was really happy talking to you because that enthusiasm, that love and that passion I have heard after a very long time. So it was really great. It, it, it was uh, just fabulous talking to you. So now I think I'll start uh, in your uh, CV. You have given me your center last but uh, considering we are trying career horizons, so I would like to start from there. Maybe you can tell us a little about yes, your center yes, and yes, how you started. Yes, 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 yes madam. I, I had finished my postgraduate somewhere around 2004. Okay, I did my uh, undergraduate from Bangalore, finished uh, 2001. At the, uh, after 2001, I had a, I, I had a bit um, uh, reluctant to open a clinic. I'm not confident to open a clinic. So I thought I'll do some PG and open uh, clinic. So in that time, uh, with the financial restraint, I, uh, I couldn't able to go for a PG of my choice. The way I'm recording is uh, here, here my passion start. So uh, my father had found that there is a course for oral pathology is there. It's of lesser cost. And I have been forced inside the oral pathology because of uh, cost effective course. So I, I can't claim that I had a passion to become a oral pathologist or not. So now I want to say the viewers that uh, passion is not uh, what is inside. Passion is what you develop for uh, where you go and what you develop after you reach. That's the thing. So I know I, 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 I am 100% I never thought I'd become a oral pathologist. I am happy that I am doing my work successfully with the guidance of every, every, everybody. So I have started my, once I started oral pathology, <clears throat> then my concept of understanding disease is totally different. During my UG, I had a concept that I should clear my subject, I should learn the clinic, I should learn how to do extraction, I should learn how to do root canal treatment, and I should learn how to do RPD, FPD, and how to earn money and how to run my family. So when I started doing my post-graduation, oh, then oral pathology, somebody told, a few of them told that it's difficult how to, how to study, how to, this thing uh, is difficult to study, difficult to understand and all. So I had got a very good uh, HOD for me, Dr. Shanta Pradhan. I should thank her. And she had a trust over me. So there, the word trust. So I'm going to use the word trust more oftenly. So once my HOD started having trust over me, I don't want to disappoint her. I didn't study for my father or mother, parents. I studied for my staff member. She gave free hand to learn everything, whatever I wanted. So it, it may be a funnier side, uh, I, I, may, I may say you, at, on the first day of my class, all my seniors were looking at microscope. I had a um, tendency to, to go and see what is there inside the microscope, first day of my PG. I just uh, went there and there, were, there was, a, after that I, I came to know that was fine and course adjustment. So I was just keep on moving fine and course adjustment. I couldn't be able to see anything. At last, uh, that fine and course adjustment uh, apparatus came in my hand. 
I was having that final course attachment in my hand. I was seeing my head of the department. I thought uh, she will scold me very badly. She came me, Arvind, you have to learn uh, part and parts of microscope, but not like this, not like this, not like this. So you go and read about uh, what are the things you have removed from the microscope. There I started learning. There's a different way of learning things. So the life teaches each and every day. That day, again, I'm telling, I learned everything from my mistakes. So you don't have to be in a position that I've done a mistake. I, I, I don't, don't feel. Every mistake will teach you something. Every mistake, it will make you learn something. Till today, I'm remembering that first day of incident. Whenever I touch microscope, I touch. That's, that's, a, that's a God. That, that's the thing which is with my life started. I, I know each and everything inside microscope. So I have learned the oral pathology nicely that had given a complete uh, knowledge of what the uh, disease. So I felt compared to my co-PGs, my knowledge of dentistry is uh, totally different. Totally different compared to other branches of PGs. They are treatment oriented. I am disease oriented. So uh, during my basic science uh, pharmacology class, my pharmacology professor, there is a Tirkural in Tamil, Noi Nadi, Noi Mudal Nadi. What it means, means you just uh, know about the pathogenesis of the disease. Once you know about the pathogenesis of disease only, you can able to treat the patient. If you treat or if you knock the pathogenesis only, the disease will get subsided. You are not treating symptomatically. You, 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 you can't give medicines and you can't, you can't treat symptomatically. So I have learned I should know the etiopathogenesis. Then I got of confident that I know about diseases and its uh, manifestations. So with that confident, after uh, finishing my uh, postgraduate, I started a clinic at Chennai only. Um, now, uh, when the three years of postgraduate, that's oral pathology had given uh, so much of passion towards my clinical practice. So I started uh, treating uh, so much of patients. So I, 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 I am I am now thorough with pathology. It's with uh, some some sort of uh, knowledge in pathology. I like pharmacology too. Pharmacology is very important. So uh, any practitioner who knows pathology and pharmacology, they can shine as a best or better practitioners. You know, you should know. Uh, I know the disease. I know the drug. What else I need? I know the disease. I know the drugs. So I started my started practicing. So once I started practicing, I didn't did anything abnormal. I just applied my knowledge, approached my patient in a polite way. I had spent more time with patient. As a pathologist, I could be able to understand their uh, chief complaints. Probably um, throbbing pain or pricking pain or tingling sensation or neurologic type of pain. Everything I can able to feel because I had the knowledge. We, we, have, we had uh, studied embryology, we had studied histology, we had studied pathology, we had studied anatomy, physiology. We have the fundamental, all, all oral pathologists have the fundamental knowledge of everything in a dental uh, fraternity. And we also studied oral manifestation of cardiac disease, oral manifestation of diabetes, oral manifestation of CNS. So I have been an exposure towards other systemic diseases. It's up to, in, it's in my hand. I had improved my knowledge towards uh, neuro, neuro, neuro CNS, uh, improved my knowledge towards diabetes, towards this thing. So uh, I started as a general practitioner. Though I am a oral pathologist, initially I started as a general practitioner. So this diagnosis of diseases uh, gave me, make me a sort of successful practitioner. I just want to discuss uh, two important cases with you, madam, if you don't mind. Uh, one case, uh, a patient with a severe headache uh, since one and a half years. Uh, the patient had running with uh, all the leading uh, surgeons or doctors throughout Chennai, having uh, lots and lots of packs of uh, CT, MRI, and whatever it may be, um, uh, sinus view, whatever it may be. And uh, she, her complaint is headache, 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 headache. Um, somehow uh, she got my reference and uh, she came to me that, uh, uh, sir, I have got your reference. They told that uh, you are a practitioner who gives a remedy for uh, whatever pertaining to head and neck uh, region. So I want your opinion. When I was examining uh, that patient in my, in my chair, she told, I have constant running nose. I have constant running nose, headache. By sitting in chair, from supine position to recline position, uh, I saw some sort of uh, uh, fluid coming from nose. 
she said it is a i have suffering from cold the fluid what i saw it was not exactly like a fluid what we see like a mucus uh, secretion or whatever it may be that gave me some sort of uh, um, warning sign that fluid is not normal then i had uh, i have my best friend of me one of one of my neuro surgeon i had referred to refer the patient to neuro surgeon i i had a sort of some sort of doubt it could have been a neurological problem a headache not because of sinusitis not because of cold not because of uh, ent problem or whatever it may be not because of dental i'm sure it's something uh, out of my area but i want to diagnose what exactly so i, I seek the help of uh, neurosurgeon he called me and uh, praised me a lot that was the first time i'm uh, general uh, general practitioner neurosurgeon praising me that uh, doc you are very fine doc you have diagnosed a case of uh, cns rhinorrhea it's a case where a cerebrospinal fluid is leaking from nose uh, that we have found and the patient have been saved she underwent surgery i got some sort of uh, happy from inside i'm not a person of normal dentist i'm a, i'm a person who is in the position of life saving we we don't underestimate ourselves as a dentist dental surgeon extraction of tooth and root canal you don't underestimate yourself your boundaries are vast your boundaries are yeah, endless you have to take the opportunity and uh, grow your uh, make make yourself groom yourself to be a better practitioner or better pathologist or better uh, whatever uh, thing uh, what we expect that's that's a one thing life saving thing second thing as a after 5 uh, to 6 years i became a sort of uh, general practitioner and also a, a specialty practitioner so i used to get referral cases of uh, squamous cell carcinomas or any non healed cells or whatever it may be there a patient uh, came with a severe uh, throat pain uh, biopsy taken from uh, some uh, uh, oncological center saying that some hyperplastic growth in uh, vocal vocal cord or something uh, she got an, she came for a second opinion i had a chat with the patient for 5 uh, to 7 minutes her pain was not continuous 3 to 4 seconds she has severe pain after that she is speaking normally for 5 minutes then after 3 to 4 seconds she is having a severe pain then speaking for uh, for uh, no, uh, for normal 5 to 5 5 to 6 minutes then immediately the frequent of 3 to 4 3 to 4 seconds seconds she is severe pain suddenly I, i i was thinking it's a neurology neurologic origin i was thinking in the form of neurology it is typically like electric shock type of pain she she catch her throat she she says she can't eat properly she is very panic she was under antidepressant she was under so many medication she was under uh, treatment everything then i send the patient to my same friend neurosurgeon saying that i doubt this is not a malignancy don't go for surgery just check what what exactly is happening to her i am doubt this may be a neurologic sort of pain probably glossopharyngeal neuralgia curry glossopharyngeal neuralgia curry the neurosurgeon saw examined and again second time he had congratulated that sir with your knowledge of oral pathology you have saved a patient who is diagnosed as a uh, carcinoma of uh, some, some sort of node uh, it's a benign node in uh, uh, larynx or whatever it may be so they gave tablet of tegretol or gabapentin or pregabapentin within 4 to 5 days the patient became normal so they became my ambassadors <laughs> they became my brand ambassador i don't have a website i don't have any proper uh, board also outside my clinic so this is how my practice developed with the base of oral pathology i feel uh, proud to be a oral pathologist and i feel very happy that i have acquired as much as knowledge as a oral pathologist and i feel that i am in a position to diagnose and direct other specialty people to treat they they know how to treat they are masters i can't put an implant i can't uh, do a lifoid fracture i can't do anything apart from my, my own field but but i can say that this bone will withstand your implant this this bone with it won't withstand your implant i can say this periapical lesion can be resolved with, by only root canal treatment this periapical lesion leads periapical surgery along with uh, root canal so every field in ortho i say this bone will withstand your pressure of what uh, you are doing so i feel happy that the knowledge of pathology what i have gained has made me to get a wide knowledge in all the field so uh, so without myself explaining all the general uh, all the other dental uh, practitioners they started approaching me you get a opinion from marvin 
before i want to put a bps you get an opinion from arvin if i want to put a implant you get an opinion from arvin so like that i have developed uh, developed a contact with other branch of uh, dentist and uh, an important thing we as a dentist we are put inside to a shell that we are dentist we are not, we should not in, inside a shell i have got lots and lots of friends in, in general as a general practitioners okay i i am dealing we are dealing with oral cancers we are dealing with premalignant uh, lesions we are dealing with the oral manifestation of systemic uh, disorders so obviously uh, i know diabetic diabetic just i know a neurosurgeon treating neuralgia pain uh, i know an oncologist i know onco surgeon i know endocrinologist so i have got a lots and lots of friends uh, among uh, general practitioners so that's how my practice had yes sir this this how my practice uh, started so, so i have, have uh, both the academic career parallelly going with the clinical career these two together make me as a researcher uh, so this is how my research has started from my practice so the day to day i see patient no i have a records of my patient so with the record of my records of my patient my research has started i my, my pgs will come to my clinic uh, once i had a, a, a models of uh, uh, upper and lower models of crown preparation nearly some 300 to 400 models were there one pg uh, he is now uh, hod of uh, college at bhuneshwar hod of uh, dr rajguru i am proud to say he is my post graduate he came to my clinic for some discussion he saw what you are going to do with models sir i will take these models to me with me in my home so next day morning we both sat and we was thinking what to do with the models then we suddenly got an idea why can't we do a study on palatal root canal so that that the my research started in 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 some sort of research lab or not in uh, inside some uh, high fi equipped uh, center so so everything those who want researchers you start with simple things you don't think that when you find some gene only you call this researcher or when you find see these some molecular markers only you call this researcher i am i am doing my research in a sincere way in a genuine way with uh, with the help of epidemiologist with the help of biostatistician in sample sizing so i want to give a truth to the society so i want what sample size i am taking that sample size is validated whether what i am publishing it's going to the society in a right way because my research articles going to be a some other ski article i don't want to misguide them i don't want to misguide them so i i, I that is there in my mind from the day one because when i taking my key article no i couldn't able to come out with the research during my thesis i have struggled a lot with my key articles i take with some other countries article or some other uh, concepts articles the only thing is drawback is chinese can write in the chinese language japanese articles are there korean language is uh, articles are there russian articles are there in india uh, we have to express probably if it's kannada you have to think in kannada and put your research in english if i am a tamilian think your research in tamil put it in english and uh, do so that's the reason uh, chinese and japanese i feel that that mother tongue no they, they feel easy to communicate with mother tongue is much more easy now whatever i want to say i have to think in my mother tongue and i have to convert it to english and i have to put it in a scientific language and i have to make everybody to understand my my point of view in a different language to different people different people i have seen so many uh, chinese articles for it still and i have to have translate and uh, do so myself and my pg set together we, we have done uh, three studies palatal rugae pattern and intercanin with measurement with between male and female so age estimation then out of 500 models what are the developmental anomalies we see so three original uh, research i have started at my third or fourth year of uh, practice so this how my research had uh, started so this would be a take home message research it's near by you you don't have to search for research outside the research is near by you resource is within you resource is within you research is next to you you just try to utilize and uh, do whatever you can able to do obviously whatever you record that is going to be there if i if i, if I speak in a conference probably it will reach a, a, a population of 100 or 1500 if you publish an article that's why i'm i'm insisting my pgs to publish articles it will be a lifetime if i am not there also my article will be there if i am if i am not there also my textbooks will be there textbooks will be there so like that i have uh, started my articles work and all madam anything That's about true. the next question i will go for move for next question yes it, it <laughs> yes. will be a sort of motivational uh, speech <laughs> <laughs> yes okay so anyway we went through the articles so i guess the very next thing is uh, first of all i want to talk about your books because 
you know, writing books is something we can actually all do. Uh, maybe it may not be as good to begin with, but we can definitely get there. Uh, we have the knowledge. And uh, it, at this point where some of our youngsters are looking for things to do, I think that is also a feasible uh, way of going ahead, which was not yes. tried so much before. It was very difficult to publish a book. I think it's not as difficult now. And uh, you can give them some help and some tips in that. Sure, 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 madam. Uh, the concept of, of writing book came to me that whichever things I don't understand during my studies, I make it, I put it in a simpler way and I made my pages to understand. This is the communication I'm giving in a simple way, one thing. The other thing, we have, we have lots and lots of books not from Indian authors. We don't have lots and lots of data not from Indian populations. Still now, we are studying the eruption chart from Australian populations. Eruption and shedding, not from Indian populations. So I was started thinking what way I can do for my society or what, what, what my social responsibility I have to do. So I, my number of textbooks, 38, includes proper textbooks for students, some textbooks for uh, patient education also. So those who want to write or start writing textbook, it's not a big deal at all. If you think it's a big deal, you'll be keep on thinking as a big deal only. Once if you feel that it's not a big deal, you, you relax your mind and make it calm and clear and enjoy your work, it'll automatically follow. So the, I have seen so many people, they, they try to be perfect. One book they'll write for seven or eight years. No, I have to add this thing, that thing. I, I, I don't say that it's wrong. I, you can't be perfect 100% all the time. We are human beings. So what I thought, what I came, I put as a first textbook. So in that, I'll put a mail that criticism or welcome to uh, this mail ID. So, so many criticism will come. I'll improve and put it in second edition. So I don't want to waste my time. I want to keep on giving some sort of uh, academic knowledge to the students, to the society. I'm not in, uh, in the mood of earning, but that's a good earning also. Those who, uh, knowledge, uh, they don't have the opportunity. They can publish books, they can ask for royalty, and they can earn, earn money. So my concept of books will be in a different uh, topics. For example, pediatric oral pathology, geriatric oral pathology, uh, sort of geriatric patients, how to handle. Because as a pathologist, I should tell them geriatric patients, uh, attrition is normal. Salivary flow is normal. Sal uh, the decrease in salivary flow is normal. So I don't have to make them uh, concerned. So like those things, whatever I find, no? So they, those and all came in a form of a book. Even uh, uh, coincidence, coincidentally, I, I, we have came out with uh, a viruses bioweapon textbook, uh, 2012 itself. In that, I have mentioned about, uh, without I mentioned about Corona and Ebola virus, uh, virus and all these things. And that time itself, we had, uh, my, my, I read that book recently. In the conclusion, I had said that uh, now bioterrorism is the terrorism. Government is spending uh, crores and crores of rupees for uh, submarines, tanks, missiles, all this thing and all. Now, same war field is not at our border. War field is inside our hospitals. Soldiers are our doctors. You equip your soldiers. You equip your 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 doctors. You equip with utmost uh, infrastructure in all hospitals. Utmost research funding you should give, and you should be ready with all the drug, drugs, whatever we can able to give. So we can't predict the disease, but we can we can update ourselves in a scientific way and we can update uh, in a research things. So I, I was the return in my conclusion about uh, how government has to face this kind of war. I don't know whether government, uh, I, I, I could not, could not reach, reach government fan. <laughs> that was published through Lambert uh, publication or something it went on. So, so, so you just write in a simple language. That, that's the first point. You understand the concept first. You don't uh, do plagiarism. You do your own work. You just study. If you do plagiarism, if you take image, you just acknowledge. Nothing wrong in that. Nothing is, uh, I can't uh, uh, create an image on my own. I have to take some uh, patient's photo of yours. I acknowledge that. That acknowledging and tagging is a very big part in uh, writing textbook or articles. Then next thing is you try for a publisher. The publisher may be, for example, L.C. or some other publishers, you try for a publisher. If you, if you don't get any publishers, don't get panic. You just talk to your management, talk to your college, talk to some pharmaceutical companies. I have approached like that, like that only. One of my pharmaceutical companies, sir, uh, we want to do something. I told, no, I came with a book of uh, geriatric dentistry. You sponsor the book, 
I'll give it as a complimentary copy for your company. You put your drug name and uh, give it as a complimentary copy to everybody. So these kind of uh, modalities we can have. You don't have to take money from my pocket. You just think how to get the book work materialized. After this preparatory work, approximate title, there's a center called as uh, Ramohan Rao Center in Delhi. In Ramohan, Ramohan Rao Center, they are doing uh, assigning the ISBN uh, numbers. That's very important to get an ISBN number. This is a sort of authenticative books. They give ISBN number. They give ISSN number for starting a journal. They give EISSN number for uh, online journals. So you have to apply for ISBN number. Once you get the ISBN number, that is going to be the authenticative publications. So you just print it in uh, the head office at Geneva. So they will have a track cut uh, your ISBN numbers. So internationally, they put that number, your name should reflect. So that's how your uh, superior system like DCA or MCA or uh, UGC, they will monitor the, your authenticity of uh, textbook. You just apply, print a book, send a copy to uh, the Delhi office stating that you have published a book. They will put the record. So this is how you start with a small book. I have started with a sort of monographs. Before writing uh, textbooks, I've, I've started writing monographs and si simple topic like uh, cytokine storm. What is the role of uh, mast cells in uh, submucous fibrosis? Like one one topic I wrote. This I took as a sort of uh, trial, 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 trial. Once if I get these kind of trials, you no, know, I started uh, doing uh, textbooks. And again, I'm, I'm telling uh, success is not mine. It's teamwork. I can uh, nobody can claim success alone. It's a sort of team teamwork. I should be thankful for my colleagues, my HOD Dr. Masan sir, and my postgraduate student. I, my postgraduate students are my strength. Okay, I, I, I learned a lot along with the postgraduate student. I rather I say, yes. I teach them, I, I taught them, but I learned a lot along with the postgraduate student. And I have, uh, what, I, what, I, what do you want to say? I just make them close to me. So uh, they feel free to ask questions. There are, there are some pages, some days we argue for a slide. No, sorry, this looks like amyloblastic carcinoma. Yes. No, no, this. I want that healthy sort of thing in each and everybody, every youngster's mind. Once if they know what exactly, the, if they understand only, they can go and shine. I'm happy that my pages are uh, shining. I'm happy that uh, I have done something for them, uh, which uh, I can able to do. Sharing of knowledge is the maximum uh, gratitude what I can do for my PGs and others. I want everybody to, to share, share your knowledge. There are so many people to uh, lend you money, so many finances, so many will give you a blood bank or something, but knowledge bank, uh, sharing of knowledge is not uh, much. So I feel, uh, you, 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 Madam, you, I, I should uh, thank you. You are creating a YouTube channel and uh, sharing uh, knowledge. No, this is, this is the record. Every, everybody will come and see and they get uh, knowledge. I've seen your last videos, everything. So it's, a, it's a unique way of uh, communicating. I never met you personally. Yes. Only we, we spoke through phone. Now we are, we are speaking for one hour uh, through online. Yes. The glo globally, people are he hearing. So we once we start doing, you know, we get constant supporters. We get constant encouragers. Criticism will be there. My of dear course. friends, don't, don't bother about criticism. <laughs> criticism, if you do some work, you do mistakes. If you do some work, you do criticism. If you don't want to do some mistakes, that means you're ideal. If you don't want to get criticism, that means you're you're ideal. That criticism will make you grow in a better way. For one second, I, I, one of my articles, I've, I've got a very negative criticism from British Medical Journal. I was very upset. I was very upset. I went to my HOD that uh, they were telling that my concept is uh, wrong. Uh, uh, in British Medical, Medical Journal, they have told. My HOD told that, uh, congrats, doctor. I was thinking, uh, why congrats for criticism? He told, uh, you have developed a viewers uh, through in, uh, British Medical Journals. See, Medi British Medical Journal people started reading your article. I have to congratulate you, Arvind. Don't bother about. You write another article, no problem at all. So that's the way my department head and my head and my management had told that no, don't, 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 don't sit down, get up, get up, go, keep working, keep moving. I've got my bachelor's, uh, very good bachelor's, UG bachelor's, till 20 years. They are supporting me, parents, family, and all. No, so, so I these things and all. No, uh, life teach you. So I, I can't be perfect. I, I, I should be like sincere and I should do whatever I know and uh, I can uh, do my work. This, this is the thing uh, which I uh, tell about. Uh, book publications. It's not a big deal. Uh, now, nowadays, uh, you can uh, publish in directly in Kindle. That's very thing. 
very amazon kindle no it's it's very very easy way to publish you can fix some rate 200 rupees 250 rupees you just fix some rate now i recently i had published two three books uh, uh, child abuse i had published in kindle the way i publish in kindle means i want the child abuse concept to every parent should see that not not in medical field so in that i have, we have mentioned about uh, what are the legal steps can be taken where to approach whom to approach so the nowadays child abuse is a very big annoying thing shameful thing what is happening so now i felt uh, uh, publishing in amazon kindle is very easy so you just publish your academic works earn money don't think that you get only you, after oral pathology i want to become a senior lecturer i raise it you have a very big world waiting for you not only as a senior lecturer don't stay before college don't go to each and every college don't give a uh, okay in if you're all going during pg you in, you increase your resume you increase your uh, academic uh, quality compared to other other college pgs you should be be sincere automatically if you be sincere no things will follow on its way on its way and and open minded to accept everything uh, we can do so now either to hard copy or they can directly upload in kindle kindle they can earn money that's a constant money which will come constant money put it uh, initial books only put it for 200 100 rupees and all then you put it for 500 600 rupees obviously you get the viewers and you can get uh, more amount of money articles i said you keep publishing articles uh, according to your uh, own clinical materials or case materials or review 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 there are uh, people there to uh, they do original research there are opportunities there we can write original research review short communications a letter to editor there are so many mode of uh, communications uh, to them so this how my publications works at came so at at one stage i thought uh, i am doing so many publication of textbook i want to do something in a different way i had an opportunity to see a cricket match uh, for visually challenged people cricket match for visually challenged people there one fellow he hit six subsecutive sixes in in one over without without seeing the ball they, they have a bell in the ball hit sixes can't subsecute sixes in last over in won the match that had created a sort of impact it on me i am not doing nothing i am what i am doing is nothing there's something that people are doing in a different world and different way i want to do something so i had uh, given a pg topic uh, the thesis topic to my pg oral hygiene of uh, visually challenged uh, people when he went and told to the visually challenged people uh, schools and all no uh they told that uncle you asked me to do twice brushing but in our homes they are not giving paste and brush only that made me feel much bad so, so till then uh, i never had any request to my pharmaceutical companies i don't have any personal benefits i never got any personal benefits so first time i asked them uh, sponsor paste they were very happy that arvind is asking something to me so immediately within a day i have collected nearly some 3000 or 2000 uh, toothpaste so i gave them i saw the real smile in the uh, face of uh, those visually challenged thing then i thought this is also my duty you know i'm not i'm not not i'm not seeing only slides this is also my duty as a dentist i have to do uh, these kind of services also because uh, so like that only i came with the concept of uh, dental awareness book in braille language that's the first of its kind in globally and i've got a letter from uh, Uh, jp nadda sir the health minister uh, of uh, now is a uh, party president bjp he had sent a letter from tamil nadu government i got a letter that we are uh, happy to see that this is the first of its kind and i've got a letter from uh, france stating that we want the book to be translated in fr- french and give it to us that's a thing which is totally uh, bra- uh, book book focused for uh, braille students then i thought uh, why can't i hearing and uh, speech challenge people then i Uh, 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 prepared a cd of sign language dental awareness and we have a small 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 cds like post extraction what way i can communicate them i don't have any to communicate them now i can whatsapp them what is the post extraction in- instruction i can what why can i can whatsapp them so they are also very happy the tamil nadu government appreciated that and the government has sponsored me 25000 rupees for that uh, book it's a sort of uh, dst funding i got for uh, social out- outreaching so this kind of parallel thing so i uh, you don't make your brain to ideally don't give uh, not even a single minute uh, to take you take rest but even even in my rest also no i think what way i can uh, do what other work i can do 
this this how my books uh, work started madam yes there is really a lot you know we uh, we always think and i think more than us the youngsters feel you know they see a cv you know they see your cv they see someone else's cv and it looks so well planned so many steps and, and it looks like it was all strategically planned and you got there i think very often they don't realize that it is just a lot of it is improvisation and us dealing with life as it came along you see what is needed and you do it I, you can't be very fixated there have been periods in life where i have not been working as an oral pathologist in fact but in the sense i have not been earning as a oral pathologist i have to say i have always worked as an oral pathologist i mean not have been having an earning even right now it's one of those but i think it is oral pathology is a part of me and that i have to accept Yes, you know, it's the, I the think that in, you have a passion inside, or inside you. That is the thing, and I can see that in you. So now, another thing you were telling me was the things that maybe youngsters can do, where our students yes. can learn during yes. their course, yes. which yes. when they go out, until they find a more specific thing to do that can help them earn a living. Yes. So any of those you can share today. Uh, so many are there. but one one psychological uh, block uh, all the oral pathologists should remove that uh, you just think you are a dental practitioner you are a dentist you have a job with you don't say that i am jobless i am waiting for a job or whatever it may be probably you may not get a special specialty job or a specialization job for that i give so many my my own experiences how i train my pgs probably that may be helpful for other head of the departments or other staff members how they train the, their pgs so uh, once you finish uh, graduation in the three year you be thorough in what you are learning okay nowadays all the dental colleges they have the setup of immunohistochemistry it's it's mandatory from dental council of india and so many pgs are uh, pgs thesis nowadays are uh, more towards molecular biology more than immunohistochemistry more to uh, more towards rt pcr or pcr work under more towards elisa so one, before you come out you got an experience of an idea about immunohistochemistry you have experience of doing elisa you have experience of doing uh, running an uh, pcr or rt pcr you have experience of doing normal histopathology so you have learned four works you have learned four works once if complete and go out you can associate with any labs where they run immunohistochemistry where they run rt pcr where they run uh, elisa okay don't think that you are you, you have to go in the labs where uh, human samples are collected there are centers where veterinary samples are collected there are there are job vacancy in veterinary colleges there are uh, job vacancies in life science colleges there are uh, job vacancies in engineering and technology there are job vacancies in iit or uh, some other centers where they have fund for oral cancer crores and crores but they don't have any sound techn- technically sound uh, pathologist to see the slide and tell them this is carcinoma grade the slide and tell them it's immunohistochemistry past you or not uh, see the, uh, just collect the sample and give them so use join as a researcher over there you get 30k or 40k thousand from there you learn their technique you 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 have your own techniques you learn their techniques then after 3 to 4 months or 6 months working there you write one project of 3 uh, crores or 1 crore or 2 crores or 50 lakhs whatever it will be that's your survival once you write a project no for you you take 40000 rupees amount that's this you don't have to, uh, to take a resume and go for uh, jobs and all that's totally to us research apart from research i train my post graduates in uh, handling cryostats i i that, that's my dream I, i i want all my post graduates to handle cryostats so once they handle uh, once they know how to handle cryostat no they can join in head and neck oncology team there are there are so many corporate hospitals now uh, more uh, it's like a sort of mushrooming of uh, oncology centers throughout india throughout the globe and uh, oral cancer is in top top most level we are saying it's top most top most and all but whether we are finding answer is not we are on the way to find answer so you go and attach to the head and neck oncology team you have to go and attach to head and neck, head and neck oncology team and say that i i do cryostat i'll sit with you for an hour or two hour or three hour surgery i will check the margin and give to you i will check whether the margin is clear or not finish your work either you go as a salary based employee or you just 
uh, ask I, I need 20k or 15k per case per month three to four uh, cases if you go on assist you will get 40000 rupees or 50000 rupees that may not be an initial salary for a senior lecturer in in some colleges so we are we are we are thinking that we are academicians we are focused to lab we are focused to think you have so many opportunities either you open a lab or go into research center with all your knowledges or with the career start go and sit in uh, oncology center uh, go and get job in life science life science botany zoology sorts of things now a big array is opening forensic ontology you go and do whatever you want in forensic ontology you do some cases free of cost for your own police department of your own city then only they'll recognize you what is your capability That's until true. otherwise we don't show our capability they can't recognize so i feel that we didn't uh, expose ourselves fully to the legal and uh, po police uh, side that we are fully equipped and if, if we we, are, we expose ourselves only they can we can be a part of disaster victim team we should be a past of disaster victim team so that's a major boost to what i feel if you become a past of, a part of disaster victim identification every scenario you are the person who is going to identify the face age estimation everything what you read, read at oral pathology you just go and imp, uh, implement what you read what you do you have money that's sort of very very good job very good uh, opening it's there you you have to go and i have seen nowadays so many arts and science colleges they have started a course of msc forensic odontology they need faculty member so you don't know, don't see only for dental colleges you go for some other openings in in you go as a lecturer you take some guest lecture you just take some classes for forensic odontology for that student those who are doing msc and basic forensic odontology they pay better of 30000 rupees or 40000 rupees pay you get i'm just telling yeah, obviously we go to job for get pay payment only I am telling the the uh, instead of senior lecture, you get there are uh, uh, opening where you get more than a uh, job of uh, senior lecture, and you can work to your convenient time, and you can do your uh, day to day practice. That, that's that's one part of thing. Other part is you have to expose to general pathologists that uh, so they're not general pathologists, general practitioners that we are oral pathologists, we are dentists, we know from the day one of the birth. Uh -huh. We know at sixth week of intrauterine life, what we yes. study in uh, as a study in Correct. Auburn. So from sixth week of intrauterine intrauterine life and and twenty eighth uh, day of uh, gestation, buccopharyngeal membrane uh, ruptures, we know that, that from that stage we know everything. So you just tell them that uh, I used to go to uh, many IMA conferences to educate them what dentists do because I used to go for uh, pediatricians conference. Because pediatricians should be uh, equipped with knowledge. What is the eruption shedding age? Because they, they, parents will assume that anyway this teeth is going to fall. No, they don't know when it is going to fall. So they give some antibiotic. They fall, fall. So, so I want referrals, more referrals from pediatrician. They dental pain. Pay, parents will obviously go to pediatrician. I want referral from pediatrician. So you just go and uh, explain them. Now, now what is my concept is. At the day one of birth, a dental visit is compulsory. You go and uh, say, a pediatrician will come and see. You just go and see at the delivery, after delivery, first one day, 24 hours, go and see. Check for any anomalies. Check for cleft lip or cleft palate. Check for tongue tie. Check for palatal perforation. It's very important. The uh, kid is uh, struggling for feeding because of tongue tie. Nobody can understand what is the reason behind that uh, feeding. Gynecologists in a big position, mother is uh, getting pain because of not able to give, child is crying, they are going for alternate alternate milk. After three, four weeks only, when they analyze with the uh, oral surgeon or uh, dentist, we say it's because of tongue tie, the suckling moment is not not, not uh, it's not possible. So I, I what I mean is you just go and expose yourself that this is my capacity. Every uh, delivery after delivery, I'll come. You get a minimum charge of 700 rupees or 100,000 rupees for a checkup. You go for 10 hospitals, 10,000 rupees. It's, 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 just go and check up. So they will refer you. This is how we have to pull the cases from others. We, 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 I, I think everybody is eating our bread. We are not eating our own uh, bread. But we sh <laughs> you should decide what you want to eat. What you want. What is your dish? We, we are not uh, sure that what is what is in our dish. We are giving, we are serving for others. Let them eat. But you have you, are, you should be in a confident position. No, I am the person to find that. I have a kid. Uh, with a small palatal perforation, nobody can able to uh, identify. While feeding, no, the milk will get aspirated. It's a some sort of life threatened. 
I thought, put a, put a finger gloves, check inside the oral cavity, check for natal teeth, check for neonatal teeth, check for tongue tie, check for palate perforation, check for cuff to palate. You just write, dentally fit, dental anomalies are there. And one more thing, at the initial stage itself, we can able to identify the syndromes, depending on the face, palate, nose. I can, you can put a word to pediatrician, this kid looked like a syndromic patient at the day one itself. The nasal bridge and the amount of uh, inter interocular distances, the palatal vault and uh, whatever anomalies what we see, you know, we can put a word over there. So like that, we can uh, do work over there. So, so we have so many opportunities. I think we, only thing is we, we are uh, thinking in a one, one, one line only. We have to just come out of the box and think that what are the opportunities it's available there. Whether am I placing it uh, properly or not, there are opportunities. We just go on oncology centers, hospitals. Now, I need a compulsory one dental surgeon or oral pathologist to be there in fertility centers. So they are planning for kids, they, but they don't plan for dental hygiene. At the age, uh, they, they plan for kid and uh, they, at, the, at the second trimester, third, third trimester, they come up with a big swelling and they say, I won't take antibiotic. My gynecologist says, don't take any antibiotics. They come with abscess. Before planning for delivery, let them get an opinion from dental surgeon. Let them get an opinion from pathologist. We will tell, we will tell them, you remove the impacted tooth. You remove, treat all the teeth. Then you plan. So that, that's very, uh, so many times I used to fight with gynecologist. She says, don't give drugs. I told I, I, that if I don't uh, give drug, it develops septicemia. The septicemia will go for kids also. So I used to give IV antibiotics or IV used to give things. At the same time, you know, pharmacology, pathology. Together, together. You can, you can boldly interact with anybody with our knowledge we have uh, that much knowledge we never realize that we have knowledge only yeah, we think true. that uh, writing exam is our knowledge no not beyond that writing exam passing beyond that we have so much of knowledge just we are uh, restricting ourselves that's a problem probably you uh, like you uh, me or so many of them has to make bring them out bring them out and we should uh, see happiness in their face that uh, we have enlightened we have thrown so many points that has reached yes. at least 10% of uh, population, those who are watching these YouTube channels. There are so many things out there. So you plan, you plan. You, 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 are, you are the person who, who uh, if you are in a position to give jobs. Don't say that I don't have a job. You are in a position to give jobs. You start a lab, give jobs. You keep an assistant, give, give, give jobs. Do research lab, give jobs. So you, you, you should decide what I am going to do. Don't stand in a queue with others. You come out from the queue. You, you be a first person to open the path. Let others come in your path. So I did like that only. Let me, the, I, I never expected, I, I could write a book on Braille in my dream itself, in a book on uh, sign language in my dream itself. Probably those uh, post-extraction, post-root canal, post-implant uh, uh, things are done. That may be useful for all dentitioners. I can sell also. I, I can put it in and I can sell also. I'm not doing, but I, 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 now I'm thinking that you can download that. You see, no, see um, uh, during this, uh, th during my braille book and during my sign language journal, no, I had sent my PGs to learn sign language for a month. They have learned sign language. So they can get an opportunity for disabled kids dental clinic. Pediatricians, they don't know. Pa pediatric dentist, they don't know sign language. As a oral pathologist, they can go and uh, do sign language. So I, once I see the, those centers of visually challenged and the hearing impaired, they have a very happy world. We are not in that happy world in spite of earning our, so many things. No, we are in a world in a, with a struggling mind. They, they laugh like anything. They come and joke in sign language. They laugh. I don't understand. They, they come and joke in sign language and they keep on laughing loudly and they're taking cycles and going. going. So I have trained my PGs. You, you have learned sign language. Now you go and ask them. I'll put a dental chair. I'll treat that patient. So you, you're getting money. There are so many fundings coming over there. Uh, abroad funding is coming over there. Uh, WHO is funding. So many people are funding. You, you, have, you, 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 you have to equip yourself to get your salary. And you are the boss who can limit your salary. You can limit your salary. If you want to earn close to close, close revenue is open. If you want to earn thousands, it's open. It's you travel in which path you want to go. Which path you are strong, which path have, have more uh, um, positivity or more uh, probability to become uh, success in your uh, life, there you can uh, go and uh, do what's This is my thing. Study properly during your postgraduate. You are not 
join to pass and go the learning is for life not for uh, getting certificates the learning what you are doing is life not for certificate that that thing you register in your mind once the things will go inside mind automatically you you won't forget like how i won't i how i won't forget my cycling and how i won't forget my swimming and how i won't forget other things and all it will be part of myself where without preparation and i know i i use more of blackboard and chalk i don't depend on power cutter i don't depend on powerpoint or i don't depend on that thing so things will come out as such and we can do whatever it may be maybe i may become as a motivational speaker later also i don't know whether uh, i am up for that or not. <laughs> I, I, i don't Good know idea. in the trail cycle in the trail cycle and i can and yes. money that this is this kind of whatever corporate corporate segment is there yes. there are so many venues are there so you have, we have to sit and decide it all and depends we, on where life takes you at each yes, point yes, i yes. think you cannot be fixed today of what i'm going to be 10 years from now you can be yes. fixed today of what i am today and how i'm going today, to exactly make the best of it today Yes, that's the main thing. Today. Yes. That's to, today is the main point. Don't think of yes. no, yesterday, don't think of tomorrow. Tomorrow it will come automatically. Yesterday it can't be reverted. It's, it's yesterday, yes. yesterday only. So learn from mistakes. Don't uh, get feared or don't uh, get panic about your mistakes also. That's a chance you learn. If you don't mistake, uh, uh, you, you won't learn. Oh, one, one, one example, during my Prasto Dantia department in Bangalore, I'm uh, first RPD I'm giving. Uh, i thought instead of trimming the border the rpd is not fitting i have trimmed the base of basal thing on the uh, base of the denture i have trimmed it became very loose uh, my hod he came and he saw the denture and he told what happened i have trimmed the inside then he told uh, you put the denture and take a impression i put the denture and took a impression he taught me relining and rebasing that's how that's how yes. i did mistake it's my wrong but i i learned relining and re- rebasing that so we have a lot of undergraduate clinical knowledge we have postgraduate oral pathology everything in detail about disease we have we can say which gene which uh, molecule which chromosome where it went wrong, it went wrong. <laughs> then, that what, is true. Then, then what's wrong with us we we, can, we are able to find where it had went wrong you, then it's it's our, it's our point to go yes. and give the remedies and uh, do there are so many abroad opportunities those who wish they can go for abroad opportunities apart from that they can go msc molecular biology msc forensic odontology uh, msc health science management uh, msc epidemiology they can even nowadays epidemiology after pds they can go msc epidemiology then they can have a diploma course in pharmacology and toxicology these are so many openings are there you can put a six months course or one year course update yourself you can go for a different uh, world, world one of my pg he finished epidemiology and public health now he went totally into who he went totally into who he is earning like anything he is totally in who he is planning for uh, indian uh, scenario and vaccines everything he is planning so far we have a lot of comments of everyone enjoying your talk but we don't have questions we will wait for a few minutes for them to give questions <laughs> I think everyone was too engrossed listening they did not bother to type so we'll give them a few minutes yes we'll give them a few we, minutes we can interact this 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 thing man that this somebody has to initiate i think you started the initiation let us do let those who hear no let them go and do this is how we have to yes. start the chain who has to start say no like, like uh, thank for, I, i just really from bottom of my, my heart i have to thank you the, for giving uh, oh, this no, no, opportunity that's... and uh, my team of uh, pathologists working uh, with me and my students and my uh, management uh, everybody you know they are uh, once you you work in a different way you know obviously management will yes. support you support that's you true. we should think differently so i now i don't i now now i don't have to think about my job guarantee or job security or job uh, job security obviously they will retain there is no factor of uh, jobless factor and one important thing i, I want to tell you is uh, usually in every colleges they think that oral pathology is uh, non income generating department i, I think you yes. you would have heard that every department i have i had uh, changed that in my college we are income generating uh, department in our college in what way i am telling i i have i have started uh, immunohistochemistry chemistry course for 15000 rupees 3 months so i have got a uh, number of 30 to 40 40 students so that's income generating for my college then uh, from bio biomedical engineering biotechnology student they they want to learn how to process the tissue and they want to learn how to do immunohistochemistry chemistry and they want to learn 
how to do biotechnology sites so they, they are paying for me they are coming and uh, learning for me so those who are uh, researchers in iit or uh, ibms or whatever centers you know they are paying me and they are utilizing my lab so uh, approximately 80000 to 1 lakh or 2 lakhs easily i am generating in my from my department so these things like other other colleges other department other my colleagues you know they don't feel about job whether job is there today or tomorrow we should uh, have pacify the management that we have this much of capacity means we don't have bother about uh, job or whatever it may be so we we have to stand in a different way for management that this fellow we want this fellow we want this fellow not uh, uh, we don't work for the pay what they give you work what you like obviously you get paid for what you are working later not immediately later you get uh, what what you, you have work. to get that good first uh, yes, you know yes. recently i was reading somewhere it takes 10000 hours of concentrated work to become an expert in anything <laughs> and that does not include 10000 hours of sitting on a chair <laughs> warming it no, no, it's no, concentrated no. work where you are yeah. actually trying to improve then you really become an expert so once you reach expert. that point then people no, will can, really we, we, pay for that ability you know yes 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 that's the thing i want to that's the uh, thing yes put put to my colleagues those who across it. my juniors yes. they don't have to fear about job. you just do 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 whatever you want obviously your personal uh, cv will go up okay. with uh, 100 publications or 30 publications 40 publications now now each and every of my post graduate students they have 20 publications that's wonderful when they, when they go out no their cv will be much more uh, in a better way compared yes. to other uh, cvs so that's how i train my pgs i am very ca- cautious that i should get job for my pgs they came for me so from that day on like a sister brother kid whatever way they want they'll call me grandfather also let them call me i don't bother about them i want to i want to help them and I, they, 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 that's that's where I, i i my management feel my importance so yes. students are joining for arvind babu students are happy with arvind babu he is doing some work so he he can do something so that's how i have to make my position in a stronger way though i have a clinical practice want to be balanced publications in a clinic and i do go for uh, consultation for other hospitals like oncology team i'm a student like every oral pathologist should be a student oncology team that's the main thing and one more thing is everybody has every state has somebody has to represent it to the government stating that all primary care health centers should have a pathologist to screen uh, the, the cancer in a early stage if that happens no every district one oral pathologist will be appointed the oral pathologists sure. can take biopsy they can do some vital staining they can do so we can uh, have a separate record for pre malignant patients we don't want uh, cancer registry we want registry for pre malignant re- registry we can trace them we can uh, call them oftenly we can uh, uh, advise them we can prevent the disease before it uh, clinically transfers into malignant that's how we can uh, stop we can I, i don't think government will stop banning cigarettes or government will stop banning uh, good cause what we do that that's government own policy we can't uh, i am not here to say yes. talk about politics and that in my, my side i have to prevent at the early, earliest stage so we are we are working in cybernomics proteinomics there are so many things in oral pathology just learn about things and that so one day uh, implantologist will say give a top of saliva arvind you say this patient patient's bone is uh, strong enough to do my implant is or not it's a biomarker saliva is a biomarker you just do a exclusive saliva lab exclusive not history pathology lab it's out of box thinking saliva lab Correct. i yeah. i have done sal- saliva lab i have to think uh, saliva lab then then you think about uh, diabetic patient and salivary salivary level uh, dialysis patient salivary ure- urea level parkinsonism salivary ure- ure- urea level so if all the diseases take a drop of saliva and we are going to be uh, uh, we are going to diagnose the disease any questions madam Dr. Nandini. So what she's asking is you are providing services and that is very fine, but you are training oral pathology services for other non-dentists. Don't you feel they might need us, uh, that they may not need us anymore after they learn and establish no, 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 themselves? No, 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 no. I, I think, you, I think <laughs> Nandini, Dr. Nandini, you have misunderstood. I'm training my PGs, not everybody. <laughs> everybody. Uh, that's a part of their curriculum. I'm training the biomedical engineering. That's a part of their curriculum. They have to learn. so we are teaching so once I, once what i say i am teaching for uh, engineering students means uh, they are they are part of their curriculum 
so they don't have teachers now oral pathologists come front i am the teacher for you you pay money i will teach you so they are not going to do that lab that's part of the curriculum like how for one subject you go for tuition you pay the amount and uh, go for tuition doesn't mean that your job is uh, in a quarry i am saying that there are so many people those who are other than medical other than dental those who want to do uh, um, our assistant those who need our assistant you get money and do you get money and do hope she understood my question i am yes, not yes. Uh, training everybody no, I know. those who want actually maybe. what happens is it's like even when we were all uh, because nandini was with me in courts and when we were in yes, courts yes. now in courts okay. we do a lot of uh, our department also used to do a lot of research and you know earn, uh, that was a way of earning we have done research for the engineering college we have re- done yes. research for various veterinary colleges so many others and and we provide our services and if you i what i get your point is even uh, now this was we were doing it in our department for them yes, when yes, they brought yes, us right. research no, but no, if no, there no, is no. an institute and you go and offer your services basically you are providing that service there yes ma'am yes so it's not no. like you are actually training all of them to do the work no 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 no, no. those yes, who need yes, yes. i am i am there i am paying uh, i am i am getting money and training and one more thing nowadays in uh, ugc they are asking how much consultancy amount generator they are ra- ranking accordingly how much amount it, your department is generating through consultancy that's a important point in nac accreditation nirf accreditation and ugc accreditation how much income you, you are generating through your your knowledge that's a positive point so like uh, nandi madam no you, you you can uh, call the students call train them, them uh, get get the pay management will be happy yeah. management will also pay more uh, if we generate more money for them actually uh, what i feel one thing that we can all now start working to is uh, maybe make tweak our uh, you know post graduation course so instead of just training students for a teaching job which which was what we were doing before yes, we yes. can teach them for an actual non teaching job where you can teach or you can do anything but basically you are prepared for a real world job which is out of academics i think that is something that now we will have to begin to talk to seniors about and maybe take that on their advisement for future no no we have to teach both we have yes. teach for the life also we have teach for academic also academics, yes. but um, i think we are in a position to guide them in a better way after uh, yes. this this session no i think students yeah. will also get motivated and the thing yes. is no nowadays uh, uh, some other uh, states they are saying that uh, pg is or seats are not get filled because we ourselves will got uh, lack of motivation so yes. I, i i this is high time uh, all the world pathologist will uh, need to get self motivated yes. we have a uh, lot more uh, what we ima- imagine in- imagine in say so obviously yes. these things will reach you no know, all seats will be filled all world pathologists will be happy and we we may have a very big uh, future uh, in, in 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 dental yes. dentistry field sir. field it's uh, yes. there are some few people are there this this no message has been uh, passed throughout uh, india throughout globe by that way we yes. can uh, get, uh, we can achieve success for this youtube uh, session uh, <laughs> yes uh, 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 after that, after that. yes i hope now all youngsters more than anything is they need to go out and talk to different people you know this is what i felt because so many actually i thought of this because youngsters were constantly getting in touch with me saying what to do ma'am and the thing is i have a limitation of my own experience you know i yes. can only uh, talk about what i have thought and what i have experienced but then it is limited it's not endless uh, there's no way so which is why yes, i yes, felt yes, i, I need others to help me now you know <laughs> so which is why you know people like you and i want but besides that i want youngsters to really go out and talk yes. to everybody and and, and and project ourselves nobody is going to help the only person who helps you is you only i can't yes. expect anybody to help i have to go and i have to help for myself and i have yes. to project myself i have to prove myself I have, to, i have to create trust among my work to other others so obviously my my credit my credibility will increase and uh, i'll i'll say so it's it's a thing uh, what we i am i want to say is go out see the world then you decide uh, what what you want what you want to eat or what you want to take so thank you so so very much for your time and for all the information you shared this is really a very very little token of appreciation Excellent. but uh, thank you so much Thanks thank you for it being is, with us uh, my advance wishes wishes to all the viewers happy diwali to thank you ma'am
Yes, thank you so much. Thank you. So thank you, everyone. Thank you for being with us. Please get in touch with me if there is anything you would want me to share, anyone specific you would want to speak to, any ideas, any suggestions. This really is entirely for you, for you out there, for all our young colleagues. Uh, so please get in touch with me. I'm sort of available on various platforms. You just put my name anywhere and you will find me. I'm really open to discussion, open to helping you. And as you saw today, so many are really out there ready to help you. You just need to get to us. Uh, whatever we are able to do, we will do for you. And uh, with that, have a nice day. Thank you everyone for being here. And once again, thanks to Dr. Babu and thanks to his PG, Dr. Nishant, who has helped us through this. And yes, have a great day, everyone.